Welcome back to Outdoor. Today we're gonna to be doing a couple things. One, I wanna get this mess off of my floor. We got tackle everywhere. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you smash that thing down. I got my jigs I wanna put trailers to. Got some more jigs. This video is gonna be a how-to slash informational, educational, whatever you want to call it. I always like putting extra in my videos, guys, so we can all learn from it. Whatever I can do to help you guys catch fish. I'm gonna to try to pair a couple different jigs up with a couple different trailers. That way, you guys, if you're new to fishing, you can see how to do it and learn how to do it. There's really nothing to it, it's pretty simple. We're gonna do the swim jigs, I got my football jigs, I got my finesse jigs, and I got my pitching jigs. So we'll go through a couple different ones, like I said. I just wanted to say two jigs are all year round bait. They work in every part of the year, hot, cold water, whatever, it don't matter. It's one of the most versatile baits you can throw for bass. All right, I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod behind me and we'll get started on pairing these jigs up with trailers and we'll go from there. I appreciate everybody's support. The channel's growing. Check out the giveaway that I just posted not too long ago. Definitely check that video out. You have a chance to win a $50 Bass Pro e-gift card. All right, I'm gonna try this sitting down. I didn't really know where to set you. I probably should be doing this at a table, but. All right, we're gonna start with the Kytec 4.3 inch Impact Fat and my Dirty Jigs California black and blue swim jig. And I'm gonna put that with the black Kytec. I'm gonna show you how to rig this bait on this swim jig. I use the 4.3s and the 3.8s for my swim jigs. You gotta love that squid scent on the Kytex. All right, so what you wanna do, you'll see one side it's got, it's kinda got like two dots there, and then the other side, it's got a slit underneath of that too, and then the other side's got like a bigger slit in the back. That's where you wanna come through with the hook. So like on a swim jig, it's gonna be like this when it's tied onto your line. So what you want to do is, you're going to come, you want the tail down, I don't know if you can see that. That's how it's going to look, okay? So you want to rig it on that way. You can rig it upside down. People have done that and it works too. That's just the way I do it and that's probably the way most people do it. But some things in bass fishing you can't do wrong, so whatever you prefer is fine. I'm just showing you how to do it. Alright, so what we're going to do is, take your bait, there we go. Um, you want to take it up the shank of the hook. You want to try to keep the bait straight too. Because if you twist it and turn it, it kind of puffs up and bunches up. It, a little, it's a little bit tricky with the weed guard there. But just do your best. I'm holding on to the head with trying not to mess the skirt up either. And then you just want to pinch and push that up the shank of the hook. There you go. And you'll get used to doing it when you know how far is good. You don't want to go too far, but you also don't want to go too short either. So, let me get this straight. Keep pushing this some more. We, this is a long, this is a Dirty Jigs California Swim Jig, so it's got a big old hook on it. And we got to take it all the way up there to where that barb is. So, we're going to push this up some more. And we're just going to keep feeding it around the bend of this hook. And you can feel with your finger like I'm doing, you can feel the point of the hook where it's about to come through. And what I like to do is I like to keep it, I don't know if you can see that, almost halfway where that slit is on this bait. So I'm almost there. I'm just going to push it a little more. Remember, keep it straight and try not to let it bunch. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to push there. And you can see how that hooks. And I'm going to feed it as the hook's coming through. Okay? See that there? I'm going to feed it. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to push it up over that bar, but I'm going to feed it at the same time. So that's what you're going to get. You can see I'm all the way up until it stops right there at the head of the jig. And then I'm going to flip it, flip it around for you guys, get the skirt out of here. Move my hand for you. And that's it. And that's how you rig the contact onto a swim jig. Again, that's the 4.3 inch contact. What about a weed guard? I think that looks great. Some people might think that's a little big, the 4.3. They might want to go with the 3.8, but I like the bigger profile. So, got your swim jig. 
rigged up and ready to go. All right, let's talk Kitek Swing Impact Fat. The regular impacts are good too. They're just a smaller profile bait. It's one of the best paddle tail swim baits on the market. They come in a wide range of sizes from the 2.8 inch all the way up to the 7.8 and all the sizes work. They straight up just catch fish. You can rig and fish it a ton of different ways. You can swim it on a swim jig, a spinner bait trailer, a swim bait hook, a chatter bait, a buzz bait trailer, an Alabama rig, an underspin, and a jig head. If I missed any, let me know down in the comments section. You can catch a variety of species on a Kitek. I love having a universal bait I can use to catch multiple fish. If you want to increase your chances of catching a fish, throw a Kitek and do yourself a favor and pick some up. Alright, now we're going to pair up my finesse jig with that Zoom Chunk trailer. This is a Dirty Jigs Luke Clawson Finesse Jig in peanut butter and jelly. And this is a great wintertime bait, guys. You want to downsize in the wintertime because the bass are not as active and they're looking for a smaller profile meal. And that right there is going to get you bit. And I'm going to show you how to put this. I'm going to use the Zoom Chunk trailer. It's a green pumpkin with some purple flake in it. I think it matches up great with this jig. Oops. Alright, so there's our jig. And what I like to do, here's the, the Zoom Chunk trailer. And I don't think it really matters which way you rig these, but I like to keep that. See this, how this side's flat and then this side bumps out. I like to keep this flat side up the hook shank that way I get more room from when they bite the jigs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that flat part and I'm going to put it on the hook there and I'm going to slide it as far back as I can. And I try to go about, I try to put the hook about halfway from top to bottom in this piece of the zoom chunk. So what I'll do is I'll probably go about, let's see, go about right there. It's it's real simple guys, you just thread that on and I'll take that back as far as I can, kind of like right there. And what that's going to do is, it's going to look like that, so you got to, let me get these, got all these um, skirt strands in the way here. So that's kind of what you're going to end up with there. You got a nice small profile finesse jig for wintertime bass, cold water slimming down your baits to give them a smaller profile look. That's your Dirty Jigs Finesse Jig. All right, I'm gonna do another one for you guys. I'm gonna do my black and blue Dirty Jigs Luke Clawson Finesse Jig. And these Zoom Chunks, guys, they're great for wintertime because they don't have a lot of action. That's what you wanna pair up with your jigs in the wintertime. You don't want something with a lot of crazy action because everything's moving slower. The bass are lethargic and they're not active. So. Make sure you pay attention to what trailers you're putting on your jigs, especially for winter time and for finesse jigs. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to get my face out of this back rail because it's awkward, but I really can't help it. So you guys got to bear with me here. <laughs> it's probably not the prettiest thing to be looking at, but it's like I can't get it to focus right. I really need something there, but let me see if I step a little bit closer. No, it's not going to work either. Um, I'm trying to stay in frame too for you the best that I can, but all right, same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that flat part back here. I'm gonna thread that on first. I'm gonna find the middle. I'm just gonna push it up the hook to about right there. There you go, guys. It's a nice, nice little finesse setup there. This finesse jigs from Dirty Jigs. The line tie is recessed in the head. You can fish this finesse jig in cover. It's pretty much an all-terrain head, so it is pretty universal. You can pull this thing through cover and everything, so this is a great finesse jig for cold water, wintertime bass. All right, now we're gonna pair up my 30 Jigs HP flipping jig. This is a Tackle Warehouse exclusive only jig. If you want to keep things simple and just buy one jig, go with uh, Arky style head, uh, flipping and pitching jig. You can see that rounded head with kind of a flat bottom. What it'll do is it'll make the jig stand up on bottom in a defensive crawdad position. Awesome jig, 
most universal jig you can buy. It keeps it simple so you don't have to buy a ton of different jigs. There's a million of them out there with a, a lot of different style heads. Again, if you just want to go with one, go with a Arky style head. We're going to be pairing up my Dirty Jigs HP flipping jig with the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. And this is Tramp Stamp color. And this is Beaver Crawl. Alright, this jig has, if you can see there, it has a little keeper right there by the skirt. Some of them are going to have them, some of them won't. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that keeper yet. Um, I kind of like just a regular style that was on my Dirty Jigs California Swim Jig. I like that. See the Sweet Beaver color with this jig. Let me flip it upside down. I mean, that thing matches perfect. Got some green pumpkin and the back of it's like a black and blue. So that's going to go together great. You really can't go wrong rigging these sweet beavers. One side does have eyes on it. And then this side doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rig it to where the eyes are on the outside of the jig. I'm going to come straight through the center. And I'm just going to work it up with my fingers. Try not to bunch the bait up guys because it will kind of maintain that form once you get it all the way up i'm just trying to don't force it just get it to where it's staying straight on that shank of the hook and the hook's not going to poke out of the bait while you're pushing it up you don't want that to happen either you kind of want to keep it in the center it gets a little tricky with the weed guard in a way just kind of hold it out with your finger but also keep in mind sometimes it'll bend that weed guard so just check make sure it's straight when you're done that way your weed guard is not crooked and I think that's that's actually pretty good there and back it off a little bit I'm gonna bring it out right there and as I'm bringing it out I'm working it up the shank of the hook I'm gonna go right over that keeper and I'm just gonna keep working the bait all the way up to the head of the jig and against the jig head okay And that's what it's going to look like when it's done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these appendages and I'm going to pull these apart. It's going to give you a lot more action. So you got four appendages up here. And that's what it looks like on the flip side. It's not completely straight, but it's close enough. And pay attention, guys. Like As far as if the trailer matches the bait size-wise, like right at the end of my skirt is where all the action is going to be. So that's perfect. Um, you don't want them too big. You don't want them too small. It's not the end of the world. You can actually take some of the top off and pinch it off if it's not fitting exactly how you want it to fit. You'll get used to whatever jigs you're using and the size of the hooks and what trailers are going to fit best. But like I said, you can always modify them and pinch a little off to make it fit exactly how you want. And there you go. You got your jig rigged up ready to go ready to get a nice bass on there all right guys that's all i got for you make sure you share this video comment on it let me know if you like my setups my colors my trailers let me know how you set up your jigs to stay on top of my videos and get my new content first all you gotta do is click that notification bell if you haven't subbed to the channel yet make sure you smash that subscribe button down i appreciate each and every one of you guys Thanks for helping me keep this channel going. If you guys have any ideas for new videos or something you would like to see, don't hesitate to drop that down in the comments below. You can follow me on my social media at Brian Blackowitz. You have officially been outdoors.